Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's get into the energy and then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. Holy Spirit, Angels, Spirits, and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Sagittarius, please. So you're wishing for a relationship. There's a wish for a relationship here. So let's get into this energy for Sagittarius. What is going on with Sagittarius, please? If you're dealing with an Aries, someone's very trapped in their head about the truth. They're very, they're thinking a lot about you. They can't get you out of their head, but there's a truth that needs to be spoken. If you're dealing with a Taurus, so this has been a long time coming, but they want something long-term and committed. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini, there's passionate communication with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you, Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a Cancer. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo wants to move forward with the reconciliation. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo's needing strength because they want to be with somebody. They want to offer that cup. If you're dealing with a Libra, there's betrayal with the Queen of Swords. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, divine timing's at play. Something that's meant to be and is, is, is your Ten of Cups. So you have somebody who really wants to be with you if, it's, if you're dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with, a, with another Sagittarius, they have an option or they're daydreaming. Somebody's daydreaming about a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have two people that are, you're, you're dealing with a Cancer possibly uh, if you're dealing with Sag. Um, this person is mastering their emotions because they're, they're, they're daydreaming about the King of Cups and you have somebody up here who's waiting for the Queen of Wands. So specific. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they see something from a different perspective. This person's doing some soul searching. They've gotten some kind of clarity. They're, they're getting some clarity about this new passionate beginning. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody, uh, Somebody juggled you, so they're not speaking. You're not speaking to somebody who juggled you. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like there's a lot of strife, jealousy, competition with somebody from the past. Somebody's, there's a lot of drama going on with somebody from the past. But you are wishing for this relationship. You want this relationship to work. You're wanting this relationship. Okay, let's get into the Sag and see what's going on. What does Sagittarius need to know, please? What does Sagittarius need to know? Try that again. There we go. Okay, what does Sagittarius need to know, please? You have an ending of something, something that is that has come full circle, and somebody's at a crossroads on which direction to go towards their wish fulfillment. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Somebody's made a decision to cut something out so that they can reconcile. There is burden here. Somebody's obsessed with burden. The burden of this choice, the choice to heal. They want to rush in. They're rushing towards their happiness. They want to heal something and rush towards their happiness with a soulmate. Somebody's obsessed with burden, though. They're worried about something. And it may be about this ending. Someone's very guarded and defensive about walking away from a Ten of Cups. So 
Somebody's trying to win at all costs. Play in mind games. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. With Deception. Ooh. The truth is being spoken, though. It's under the bottom of the deck. Got something juicy going on here, Sag. So you're at a crossroads about something that ended, so something new could begin. But you're at a crossroads about it. You're you're like, I don't know which which way to go. I don't know which which path to choose. I feel like the ending of the breadcrumbing, or I, I I feel like something has come full circle. Um and it may have been because somebody was breadcrumbed, but it could also be because the cycle has ended. There can now be equal give and take, right? Right? So you're at a crossroads. You're in the car. Hit the gas. Hit the gas. Make that left turn. Make that right turn. Pick a, pick a side. Ten of cups. Your wish fulfillment is your ten of cups. All ten cups. Right? And And you have some regrets. I feel like there's a cancer that you're dealing with here because of, of what the energy was before, but it could be cancer Pisces or Scorpio, regardless. Somebody has regrets. Cancer has regrets or whoever this queen of cups is, has regrets, whether it's male or female is irrelevant. It could be either one, right? Um, because they need, they made it, they made a head over heart decision to cut you out. Sag, they cut you out and, and now they want, and now they're walking away from a third party, walking away from the third party. Let's see what's going on here. Somebody's obsessed with burden and they want to be, they want something fair and balanced. Um, but they're also obsessed with their wish fulfillment. So there's burden that they need to balance, but they need to, they're obsessed with their, their wish fulfillment. And somebody has a choice here between two people. There's a third party situation or there was a third party situation and somebody needs to heal. It's their wish to heal this. And they want to rush in and work it out. Speak the truth to have their happiness. Someone's very guarded and defensive where this Ten of Cups is concerned. They walked away from their Ten of Cups. They regret. They have regrets, right? They walked away from their person. They want, they, their wish is this Ten of Cups. Here's the Ten of Cups again. But they're guarded and defensive because they walked away from you. They walked away from you. Now there's justice here. And they're not that they haven't spoken because of the competition. They felt very trapped in their head, needing strength because there was deception. They walked away from you for a third party and now they're regretting it and they want to get justice for you. Um, so, but somebody here was trying to win at all cost. King of Pentacles in a deception. They want to reconcile what was hidden, the hidden, the hidden betrayal with the Queen of Swords. They want a victory with someone from the past to move forward. They're unhappy in the relationship, the Ten of Pentacles, and they're very guarded and defensive. King of Wands feels very trapped in their head, wanting, getting some kind of clarity. It, you know, soul searching, did some soul searching about the Two of Cups, about their person who they're meant to be with, and they want to speak the truth about breaking your heart. King of Pentacles. This person's coming in as a King of Pentacles, but I feel very much that they're a King of Cups. So let's get, let's get into this. This person betrayed you for somebody else. And now they want, they have regrets for walking away, but they know that they were deceptive in what they did. They do know it. I would do it all again. I still feel the pain. I can't be with you. I do love you. Okay, I almost feel like this is what they told you, that they can't be with you. Um, that I would do it all again. Might be them wanting to be with you, like they would do it with you again. They would, they would want to start all over with you again. But I feel like I still feel the pain and I can't, that I can't be with you. You know, you being out of their life was, was a problem for them because they do love you. Right? So let's see. What's the shadow in the shadow say?
What did you want from me? I fantasize about you. I know I made a mistake. So I feel like they weren't clear on what you wanted from them. They think about you. They fantasize about you. And they know they made a mistake. So I feel like with this, they do know that they, they screwed up. They do know that they want to come back around and see if they can fix it with you and heal. You feel, they felt like you were on, okay, you and this person don't share the same vision. You didn't at the time. This person was doing something they should, shouldn't have been doing. Um, this rejection was actually divine protection. Children are important to this partnership. This could have, you both could have children. I don't feel like this is something that you're going to have. You don't necessarily have to have children. Um, but children may be involved in this relationship. But you've learned a lesson. There was a valuable lesson that you've mastered here. And under the bottom is your awakening. So you you have learned something through all of this. And you've grown. So the choice is yours, Sagittarius. Are you going to let this person back in? Or are you going to keep it rolling. So guys, that's all I have for you. I'm going to take this to the extended and get you more clarity. So if it resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.